Three new stories for you is firstly, a road race was organized in Addis Ababa today. Uh, one of the biggest road races in Africa. It is a yearly event. Thousands participated in today's event. Secondly, words and other coup attempt in Africa. This time in Burkina Faso for the past few hours. Gunshots are being heard in Burkina Faso's capital, Oga Dogu, and most sources say a coup attempt is underway. Last year, some children have protested in Makele in front of UN offices. Why are these children protesting there? Firstly, viewers, Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital, where a road race was organized today. Great Ethiopian Run is the name of this event. The event was held in collaboration with the UNICEF. It's a yearly event. I think it was a 10 kilometer long road race. Uh, winners have been announced as well in different categories. Winners have been announced. Uh, male winner is uh, Gamacho Dida, and the female winner is uh, Yelimza of uh, Yeho Alao. Winners have been announced. Uh, Heli Gabriel Selassie was also seen at this event. Ethiopia is the land of great runners from Heli Gabriel Selassie, Dirat Totulo, Let us and so many names. This event is an opportunity for new athletes. And people from all walks of life, they participate in this event. It's a sort of a celebratory event as well. People enjoy, they have fun. Uh, the event was successfully organized and winners have been announced in Addis Ababa a few minutes ago. Ethiopian PM Abi has also released a statement in connection with this event, Great Ethiopia Run GER. Now, secondly, viewers, uh, once again, we are hearing reports about a coup in Burkina Faso. Uh, more than a week ago, we heard similar reports from this country. Africa is in the grips of uh, coups, viewers. Uh, last year, uh, there were coups in Mali and in Sudan as well, Guinea. Uh, and before that, uh, we know that in Chad, there is all, already a military government. Now, Burkina Faso, where in the capital city of Burkina Faso, Oga Dogu, gunshots are being heard since early morning today in the area where military barracks are. And most sources say that a coup attempt is underway in Burkina Faso. A few days ago, we saw protests in Burkina Faso against the presence of French military. And videos were being shared of people stopping French military convoys in Burkina Faso. Now, a coup attempt is underway. Interestingly, viewers, more than a week ago, on the 12th of January, uh, state minister of Burkina Faso held a press conference and he had said that a coup attempt had been foiled in Burkina Faso and 10 soldiers and 5 civilians were arrested over the coup attempt. Now, once again, a coup attempt is underway. Burkina Faso has seen five coups in 27 years. But uh, we have seen that in the past few years, People uh, have taken to the streets in 2014, 2015, I think, uh, people protested. Even if a coup happened in Burkina Faso, it uh, won't be like Mali. People will take to the streets. We have seen that in the past as well. So that is what's uh, the latest so far. Uh, has the coup been completed or not? It's not clear. We'll try to update you in coming videos. There is presence of uh, armed uh, religious extremist groups as well in Burkina Faso.
but wherever there are uh, instabilities in African countries, instead of being united and fighting these internal challenges, th th there is a conflict between military and politicians. We have seen that in several other countries too. And that is how armed groups, armed factions uh, become stronger because government Opposition, military, they are not united to fight insurgencies in these countries. Now, lastly, viewers, uh, we have uh, a new story from Makele, capital city of Tigray, where some children have protested in front of UN offices. You can see uh, a picture on your screen. Uh, a few children can be seen protesting. These are the children of those parents who are undergoing treatment at either hospital in Makele. The children are protesting that their parents who are getting treatment at the hospital have no medicine. Doctors have nothing, no medicine to treat their parents. That is why they are calling upon international community upon the UN, the UN should ensure delivery of medical supplies to Tigray. We have seen statements from WHO, from International Committee of Red Cross, ICRC, that medical supplies are not being allowed to enter Tigray. Ethiopian government says that Tigray forces have opened a new front, uh, battlefront, uh, on a far Tigray border. And this is the only route available for aid delivery to Tigray, uh, Afar, Makele. So the only route uh, is blocked because Tigray forces have launched attacks. This is the position of Ethiopian government. That is why delivery of aid to Tigray has been suspended. Now, medical supplies can be delivered by air too. It's not a difficult job. Medical supplies can be delivered by air to if Ethiopian government is sincere, it should allow WHO, ICRC to deliver medical supplies to Tigray by air. We have seen uh, statements from doctors of uh, either hospital in Makele who said that all supplies uh, had come to an end and uh, some items which should not be reused. They are being reused like uh, gloves and other uh, uh, medical items. So if the patients and the children are demanding that uh, medical supplies be delivered to Tegra, it's their right. Yes, they should get these uh, medical supplies, medicines, other uh, items related to healthcare. They must be delivered to Tegra. The mechanism can be discussed. Can be finalized, uh, root can be talked about, but uh, there is no uh, second opinion that uh, it must be ensured that people who are receiving treatment, they must not die because of lack of medicine. It should not happen in Tigray, it should not happen in Amhara, it should not happen in Afar. But, but the problem is that Amhara, Afar are accessible, aid agencies are reaching hospitals there. We're delivering supplies to hospitals there. Tigray is not accessible. It's under a siege. Only route which was uh, open, there's fighting going on there on Tigray Afar border. So either the fighting going on uh, on Tigray Afar border uh, must come to an end uh, to ensure delivery of medical supplies to Tigray uh, from Afar. It does not seem very possible. Or you should supply uh, medicines, medical supplies to Tigray by air. By air can be done. It's uh, no problem with that. If Ethiopian government is sincere, if WHO, ICRC are sincere, they should apply for uh, delivery of aid to Tigray by air. Delivery of medicines, medical items to Tigray by air. Yes, by air, this delivery can be made. Thank you for watching.